um, and if once you have ladybug if you look up here at the top there's a ton of stuff and it looks kind of like overwhelming at first but if you start from left and you move to the right that's kind of how it works so this first one that's under ladybug all of these are different ladybug components that help you basically start running ladybug and then also get this weather information um, the next one these are components that you would use to start analyzing the weather data basically setting intervals if there's different types of analyses that are being done later on that need more control um, that's how you would do it uh, visualizing weather data these ones help so we have a bunch of like hard data which is basically like excel sheets think about it that way so it's just a bunch of numbers these will help you make it visual so that you can actually do something that looks presentable and you can visualize exactly where on your building all these different um, sun rays or radiation and stuff like that shadows is it going to be in shadow and in, in, or in sunlight during you could pick a specific day specific time and then see exactly where the sun will be at that time and then use that to create studies and stuff like that um, you can also do wind so that's something we can do later um, bioclimatic data you can do psychometric charts, stuff like that, so you can see like rainfall, all different sort of things. Um, if you go here under environmental analysis, so hey, man. So these ones, what these ones will do, these are ultimately kind of like the main engine of Ladybug. So these are the ones that you'll be using to do a lot of the heavy lifting. These earlier ones are primarily getting the information. These are the ones that are going to be like crunching all the numbers and pulling from all these other ones and doing it. Um, so number four, renewables. This is mostly like your like PV panel and stuff. So if you wanted to study like how much would I actually get if I made my whole roof solar panels and you wanted to see like changing angles and stuff like that, there's a whole set of tools you can use for that. And Ladybug is pretty cool because some of these, if you don't know how to use them, just hover your mouse over them and it has like a whole essay. Some of these are enormous. Like when you look at like the description, it's like an entire page. Um, under extras, here there's all kinds of stuff that we have. Some of these are for like visualizing. So like you can control colors, add images and stuff like that. So depending what we are doing, we'll use different ones of these. And then the last two so this one is like exporting that's mostly for like if you're like a coder and stuff like that and you're writing stuff the last one has kind of like work in progress um so we'll look at some of these like the shadow study and some of these other ones um but to start off what you need to do is grab from the very first one ladybug we need to actually start ladybug so you click the number zero and then the very first one, Ladybug, Ladybug, it looks like a Ladybug. Um, you click that one and you just drop it on your canvas. And this is basically how you turn on Ladybug. So if you just hover over this, it says it's running. So if you want to see what's in there, you can just create a panel. And then that will tell you, hi, Lucas, Ladybug is flying. And it's like, that's the sound ladybugs make, I guess. <laughs> um, and that's how you can make sure it's running. And on the left side, you can put a toggle to turn it on and off. Um, but for now, we need to do so. This will always be, if you're going to do an analysis, this is your first step. You need to turn on ladybug because it doesn't always run. So I'm going to kind of highlight these so that we have, we don't forget. So this is going to be. Turn on Ladybug. And I'm going to just group these. And so that's the first step. You have a question? Yeah, uh, I, I can't install it. I just can't drag it in if it's not running. It won't let you drop it on the canvas? Yeah. Did you extract it? Yeah, I have all the like 100 files or whatever. Did you have proper user files? So I drag them all into the yeah, 
Mm, do you try... Um, let me see. Try like extracting all and then see if that still does it. I hope that I'll fix it and it's a quick fix. So, the next thing we need to do is look up. So, th this first thing it looks kind of confusing, there's all these different things, but it's actually set up. Ladybug is one of the most like easy to use of all the plugins. Some of them I've used, they're like you have a lot of work to do in between, kind of like what the the plugin gives you. Ladybug is pretty good at helping you out, making sure like when it needs an input, there's another component that actually gives you that as an output. Um, and then here, so these first ones are what you would use to start it. And then now we want to go to this one, Ladybug Download EPW Weather File. So this is going to help you find an EPW file. And it'll pull this from like a DOE website. Um, so we just bring this over and we drop it in. So remember, Ladybug is really a link between Grasshopper and these EPW files. So it's not really going to do like creating a lot of new stuff. It's going to basically take all this existing data that's been compiled over like years of like where the sun is, how many hours it is, how much rain there is, like temperature, um, humidity, all these kind of things, wind, and then it's going to take that and apply it to your analysis that you tell it to do. Um, so now if I plug this into here, see it's telling me set download to tree. So downloads on this side. So if we create a little toggle, I can move this guy over and connect this one here. And as soon as I hit these into each other, it's going to launch a web browser once I turn it on. So let's double click this one to make this true now. And then it opens up this Ladybug website and then it gives me like the whole map of the world. And you can pick anywhere anywhere there's a dot, that's an EP, there's an EPW file for that area. So depending where your site is, you may have a lot to choose from or not a lot to choose from. So if we're here in Orlando, Let's see what we got. So typically these are usually at like airports because they're always collecting this data. So if you look, our two closest ones are the executive airport and then like OIA, like over the international airport. So this one's closer to where we are in downtown. So there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, if you look at the next set of components, um, we have open EPW and open EPW weather and then so if you look at these they look different but they do the same thing they're gonna open the file so think of this one as see how it says URL so this will link to a URL where this file is saved if you do it here it's gonna need a local copy on your computer so if you're sending this to someone like and you're working collaboratively with them, it's probably better to use this one because that link will be to the internet and anyone can get it. It's always going to work. It'll just run. If if you're using this one, you would also would have to send that file along with it. The downside to the first one is if you don't have internet, you can't really access that weather file. So you would have to use this one unless you don't have it. Um, so once you download it, you can tell it to find it. So I'll show you how to do both. but don't forget you only need to use one of these so it's either online or local you don't need to pull the same file twice so um, to do this we can go back here to where it brought it up and then if you double click it 
it will download it and then you can say show them folder you could extract all say I've already done this like three times uh, let's just drop it there and then you get multiple files in here the one we want is the EPW which is this one for some reason I didn't open all the way so you also have these other ones which are used for other things within Ladybug but we only want the EPW one for now so you can copy that one and then save that somewhere so I can go copy I go advanced digital and you can save it here so I have it in here already um, once you've saved it you can close out of all that the other way you can do it so let me show you here once we've saved it we can go to this one so this is the one that's not the URL it needs to know where to go so if we put in a panel see it just says null it doesn't have anything and then on this side it says set boolean to true so we can just grab a boolean and set to true so as soon as you connect these it will open up a like file browser and say where is it and so you'd go there I remember that this was where I had it last time so see now it found it found this link here see it's looking in my C drive under users so if I wanted to do that, that one works. If I want to do it online, it's a little bit different. So if you look here, it's getting out nothing. And then on the input, it needs to know the URL. So to do that, we can also put a panel here as the input. And then we just need to save that URL of that file before um, we come back. So we just need to hit copy. So it actually helps you. If you select the one you want, you just right click on it, and this pops up. It says Ladybug says Control C to copy. And so you can do Control C here. I'll just do here copy. And then you come back and you double click this and you just tell it Control V. And it's important not to add an enter or space or anything because it needs to have just the link. And you hit OK. And see now it found it. So now we have this one, which is looking online, and then the other one, which is looking on my local. So you could choose which one you want to use, depending on if you're going to work locally. And see, the thing to look at is that it says this, like that that is correct to where you want it to look up, because that's going to be dependent on what location you choose. So the first thing I want to do, let's start off with like just looking at like a radiation analysis and just seeing like how we can start to use these. So like I said earlier, there's a ton of different ways to use this. You can start left to right, you can go right to left. Um, if you know you wanna do radiation, so we'll do both of these today in class. Um, if I want to start off using radiation analysis, let's click it, and don't be scared by these components because they're big, but they're don't—they're not actually hard. You just need to find all the plugs that they're asking for. So once you click, this will come in, and then you just start one at a time. Go to it from the top and work your way down. So we've turned this on. This one was for downloading. So let's put a, a scribble here so that we don't forget what these were. This is just downloading EPW file. And we can group this. And these ones are, so this one that only has one input and no URL, that is the local EPW file. So open local. In this one, we could say web based. And then now we have both of these guys. Now 
I'll make a note so that you don't forget. These need to be. Oh yeah, you just drag this guy. You only need one of these. Make this big. So I probably have four of those there. 